Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use integration by substitution to calculate an integral. And so for this you are going to need to know how to calculate basic integrals and do basic differentiation. And I'll link my videos on that below. So we're going to be using this pretty much if we have like a composite function or we have an integral where we have a function and its derivative present. Um, or if we just have two functions, okay? So it'll be pretty clear when we're gonna use it and I'll show you a few different examples now that will kind of make it quite easy and I'll timestamp each example below. So for this first example, okay, we wanna calculate the integral of two x plus three all cubed with respect to x. And you could actually calculate this using the reverse chain rule, but obviously this video is on integration by substitution. So I think it's best to use that. And that is kind of reversing the chain rule anyway. So the way this works is we're going to select one part of our integral or a function in our integral and we're going to set that equal to u, okay? And not always, but usually it's going to be whatever's in the bracket is usually the easiest part. So in this example here, we have 2x plus 3 is our function in that, in that bracket. And so I'm going to let that equal u. So I'm going to say u is equal to 2x plus 3. Now, once I've done that, we could actually rewrite this integral and we could write it as the integral of u cubed, but I now have a function of u, I've got u cubed, so I don't really want to integrate it with respect to x, I want to integrate it with respect to u. And so it's actually pretty easy to do that. All we're going to do is take the derivative of this thing over here, so I'm going to take the derivative of u with respect to x, and if we do that we'll get du by dx, and that is equal to 2. So the way this is going to work is I'm now going to treat this as a fraction and rearrange it to make dx the subject, because once I have what dx is equal to, I can substitute it in here, and then I'll have an integral in terms of u with respect to u. So let's multiply both sides by dx, and we get du is equal to two multiplied by dx. And then from here, all I have to do is divide both sides by two, or multiply both sides by a half, okay? And if I do that, we get one half multiplied by du is equal to dx. And now I know what dx is equal to, I can substitute that into my integral. And we get that, well, the integral of uh, u cubed multiplied by a half with respect to u. Now, because a half is just a constant, it's just a number, I can actually pull it out to the front of my integral. I don't have to, but it just makes the integration a bit easier. So we're gonna have one half multiplied by the integral of u cubed with respect to u. And that's pretty easy to calculate. We just add one to the power, divide by the new power. And so we get one half multiplied by u to the power of four, divided by four, plus our constant of integration c. And so now if I just multiply a half by that, we get that our integral is gonna be equal to one over eight, u to the power of four, plus c. And let's now look back at the start. We actually said that u was equal to two x plus three. So I can just substitute that back in for u. And so we get our answer is equal to one over eight, two x plus three cubed, uh, sorry, to the power of four, plus c, and that is the answer of our integral. Let's now take a look at a slightly diff more, or maybe a bit trickier example. And so here we wanna calculate the integral of two functions and a composite function, okay? So we have x multiplied by two x squared plus three all squared. And so again, I'm gonna use my u substitution, and I'm just gonna pick whatever's in my bracket. So here we've got two x plus three. So I'm gonna set u equal to two x plus three, or two x squared plus three, sorry. And from here, I'm just going to straight away calculate the derivative of u with respect to x. So we're going to find du by dx. And if we work that out, we get that that's equal to 4x. And that's it, yeah, 4x. So now we're going to substitute bits back into the integral or use our u substitution to rewrite that integral. So we get the integral of x, and I'm going to leave that alone for now, and you'll see why. So we've got x multiplied by, well, u squared. And let's now rearrange our derivative of u with respect to x to get a value for dx. And if you do that, you'll get that, well, dx is going to be equal to du divided by 4x. So let's write that in. And hopefully you can see now, okay, because of how we've written it, this x on our denominator of our fraction there is going to cancel with the x up there. And so now we have an integral in terms of u with respect to u. So now I'm just going to factorize out this one fourth there, like I did in the example above. And so we're going to get that this is equal to one fourth multiplied by the integral of u squared with respect to u, which is nice and easy. So if I work this out, we get one fourth multiplied by, we'll add one to the power, divide by the new power, plus the constant of integration. And if we expand this, we get 
u cubed divided by 12 plus c. And if we remember, we set u equal to 2x squared plus 3. So I just have to substitute that in. And we get this is equal to, we could write 1 over 12 multiplied by 2x squared plus 3 cubed plus the constant of integration c. Let's look at one final example now. Okay, and this is, you can have a go at this one because it's quite similar to the one above. So we want to integrate cos x squared multiplied by 2x. So I'm going to let my function u equal x squared in this example. And so now I'm going to calculate date du by dx, and that's equal to 2x. And rearranging to get dx as my subject, we get dx is equal to du divided by 2x. So let's substitute everything in and rewrite this integral. And we get the integral of cos of u uh, multiplied by 2x, and then that's with respect to u, and then that's divided by 2x. And again, you'll see these 2x's cancel out, and we just get left with the integral of cos u with respect to u, which is easy to calculate. That just goes to sine of u plus the constant of integration. And we set u equal to x squared, so we get an answer of sine of x squared plus c. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, go over to my page for tons more uh, integration or calculus or maths videos, uh, and like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.